It's your boys, Pat Artist Adam Knitch, back again. Dropping the needle, episode four. Today we're going to talk about a few things. The album in question, Adam, is one that you've never listened to, which is nope. cool. And then we did, but uh, it's nighttime, so I said, "Fuck it, we're going to have some." I'm going to have some beers. I don't know about you. You're going to have some beers. <laughs> yeah, I'm drinking one. Yeah, there like you go. Beer. So uh, <laughs> I'm having that bearded iris. Fucking uh, here, let me see if this fucking light's mm-hmm. blind in it. That's it. Uh, twelve thirty Flamingo Road. I don't know if that means if I should. I need to drink it by twelve thirty, which is pretty soon. I was going to say, was that the address or something? No. So it's passion fruit, pink guava, lactose. This is six point Uh, nice. if you, if uh, other list, if listeners think back about it, I think about our bearded iris episode. I got to have. Well, Drew got to have this, and I didn't. So, and they only released it yearly. So. So I never got to have it. So I saw it at a local beer store, uh, our Mount Juliet Beer Company, my local beer establishment. Nice. And uh, shout out to those dudes. And uh, they had this. So I was like, fuck it. It nice. is not pink, as you would think. Yeah. This looks like yeah. a normal, normal IPA, normal crispy IPA. You know, I love a crisp IPA. <laughs> Ooh, bro, it's got them them guavas in it though. <laughs> them guavas, you know. It's all, all tropical. It's that, tra- that tropical guavas. Mm. Mm-hmm. Pretty tasty. What are you taste? What are you drinking on? I'm drinking on that Giacomo. I already opened it. Ooh, love that Giacomo IPA. They, you know, I don't know if you're familiar with the Giacomo. They changed the. I haven't seen recipe. that label. No, so it's like a. Well, it's like a juicy IPA where it used to be just kind of like a red, almost imperial IPA. Mm. Now that they okay. changed the, you know, to appeal to the masses, I guess. For sure. The, the, the juicy hazy. The trend. juicy hazy, yeah. Uh, yeah. Love that. <laughs> you know, I love, I'm a juicy hazy boy. Um, so, <clears throat> ooh, it is hazy as fuck. Um, but mine's pretty good. Pretty. I'm, I'm gonna give it a good score, I think. Uh, Adam was giving me shit. I want to poll on this. What do we think about changing my color lights for every episode? We'll see what happens. Yeah. Uh, Adam's laughing at me, calling me a blue boy. <laughs> <laughs> it looks very like goth. <laughs> the black uh, t-shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, the black t-shirt. All right. So let's introduce what we're yeah, listening yeah. to. Yeah. So for the month of October for spooky season, we went into full, not spooky zone, but we went into full on. I don't know what you call it. Uh, a junkie zone, basically. Uh, junkie zone. Uh, yeah. So, Rolling Stones. Uh, we're doing Beggar's Banquet. Hold on, one second. Beggar's Banquet. Uh, fucking Bix, guys. Anyways, Beggar's Banquet. Um, What's going on? I recently got to go to the rolling stones no filter tour and uh it's like a 12 13 stop tour that they're doing across the u.s right now and uh yeah we went to this the stop in nashville which was a fucking shit show we'll get into that um but a little bit about beggar's banquet uh it's been constantly ranked on the top 500 albums of all time by rolling stone currently in the 2020th 2020 revision it is at number 185 oh, wow um yeah which is cool uh originally yeah. i thought the album the album i wanted to talk about yeah. was <laughs> exile on main street which is crazy yeah, but i don't know i mean i, I listened to that one and I, I don't know i'm glad you chose the the one you chose though mm-hmm. yeah because, me too I mean, actually yeah it was like it's not there's not a lot of hits on it but the mm-hmm. one you know it's still a pretty solid album goodness one sec you can hear this right a little bit what's going on dude just uh i don't think binks likes the blue light so he's freaking out and yelling <laughs> <laughs> he's like what's that blue shit under the door <laughs> That's oh, awesome. let me get let me get that blue stuff <laughs> <laughs> it's like whoa are there aliens in there <laughs> yo what's up aliens anyway um yeah beggar's banquet 
uh, famously did not have any really hits when it came out. And, yeah. um, but has since um, garnered probably come at some of the top hits. So sympathy for the yeah. devil. And yeah, I was just going to say that's probably the biggest, that's probably that's, the biggest hit. Yeah. That, that, I mean, currently that is like an encore song for them. That mm-hmm. is like a huge fucking deal. Yeah. And street fighting man, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, but the other ones, uh, I think are like the, it, it did really well. So this is like, yeah. um, this is, Beggar's Banquet is the seventh British and ninth American studio album by Rolling Stones, released in 1968. Yeah. Um, uh, it which was crazy because I mean it's still it still holds up, and I see you know see why it's still on that on that list. That list, yeah, yeah. So the reason I wanted to talk about it is there's, there's so many interesting things about it. Um, like yeah, you're saying it still holds up. Like if you listen to any folk rock or anything like that now you you can see where it came from with this album like it's really folky you know yeah and but like it's 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 a lot of things actually and that's what's cool because it's like it's folky blues and you know classic you know just rock and roll and yeah it's but and it's like it's you know i would say it's around the same time as like you know the animals were around that time the yard birds and you know uh, yeah. cream all that stuff was around but they had yeah. their you know own thing going on where it was like yeah it's like it's rock and roll but like pop at the same time mm-hmm. it was more lyric driven yeah i think and you definitely had people like uh probably like uh bob dylan pushing lyricism yeah, was, yeah. and shit like yeah, that definitely. so i was just gonna say it definitely feels more like a bob dylan album than <clears throat> anything else yeah, I prefer the shit over any Bob Dylan album. Sorry, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but the, there's funny things about it. So, like, uh, the album cover you see now is, like, a toilet with, like, a whole bunch of graffiti behind it and stuff. Yeah. That was not the original album art. So, the original album art was, like, this... It looks like a, uh invitation card to, a, like, a banquet. Okay. And it's just plain... It's, like, uh, cardstock... Rolling Stones written like real nice on it, like some bullshit font. And that was it. Yeah. And then it didn't get updated until many, many years later uh, until it released wow. on like CDs and stuff. Hmm. So I thought it was funny because it's like this one is so gnarly, but it's like not that bad. You know, like it's not crazy. I mean, you just think of like sticky fingers, like there's a dick on the cover, you know, like, <laughs> like yeah. in leather pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yeah, why why change it, man? I don't know. That's weird. But like all of this art, there's like multiple. Um, this is all like original shit. It's not like a redone cover art that they they did like recently. It's like something they shot back then. They even had like yeah. an art show in the late two thousand or mid two thousands yeah. about with all of the, like the shoots and stuff. Uh, Which is that's pretty cool. interesting, I think. Yeah. That's that. That is what's interesting is about the whole like you know Rolling Stones. That's why like I never I never really listened to them because it's like, you know, just like you know I've always heard the hits but never just like sat down with an album. It's like I'm listening to this whole thing. And it's like, mm-hmm. but you know this one it's like I did because like there are some good songs like um, Jigsaw Puzzle. Like that oh, was yeah. a solid song. I was about to say Jigsaw Puzzle is yeah. the shit. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah. So it's not a long album, which is dope too. Forty yeah. minutes. Um, you can get through it pretty quick. Hmm. Uh, I think, you know, the standouts definitely are Jigsaw Puzzle as like the the random non-hit, right? Yeah. And then you get um, Sympathy for the Devil, which is one of my favorite songs of theirs, I think. Yeah. Um, and just in general. And then... But also just like a huge fucking hit too, you know? Fucking huge hit. Like crazy. Yeah. Um, but it's it's kind of you got to think. Or so if you think about it in a record format, um, record format starts out with "Sympathy of the Devil" for the first side, and then yeah. Jigsaw Puzzle closes out that side. Mm-hmm. Which, dude, I think just with that with five tracks, that's a solid first run, first turn, yeah. you know. Definitely. <clears throat> and then it starts the second side starts with Street Street Fight Man, which mm-hmm. I think is equally dope. Um, yeah. and kind of lead it leads into the that side's kind of more bluesy. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. 
It yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It definitely gets more bluesy towards the end of the album. Yeah, I think it starts out like folky, but then like builds and then gets bluesy, which yeah. is kind. Of, it's really interesting as far as albums go. Goodness, this dude is just yelling outside the door. <laughs> it's like, give me that, give me that alien light, <laughs> mm-hmm. give me that blue alien light, <laughs> that blue alien. Um. There's a, a couple of random things on here too that are really kind of interesting about it. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to scroll up. This is from the Wikipedia. So if I'm wrong, <clears throat> fuck it. Um, uh, around the same time, Jumpin' Jack Flash was recorded and their next album, it was basically this and Let It Bleed, the one with like the cake. Is the cover yeah. art? Mm. They're kind of recorded around that's the same the time. Part, like, yeah, that's probably their biggest album, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, Brian Jones, which was a founding band member, this was mm-hmm. his last um, outing, even in the studio with them. He died after this, oh, wow. uh, but he did. He was on Jumpin' Jack. So this is kind of weird. So they they, they kept it? songs for the next album, right? And like, dude that died was on the next one. Like, even though he'd been dead. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. They just kept the track. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. What was your favorite track, you think? Uh, Jigsaw Puzzle for sure. And then Factory Girl is pretty solid. Those are like my two, I think. Yeah. I think, you know, it's funny about this. It's like some of these. Some of this shit wouldn't fly these days. Like right now, some of the shit they say in this album is really oh, dated. Yeah. That's what the whole thing about the Rolling Stones. That's why I was like laughing. I was telling someone at work because I, I know I've told, I've told you, but like here we listen to uh, Tixet film. It's like in kind of like a jukebox, like oldie station. Yeah, dude, they play some fucking hits, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I think what I figured out is like they play whatever was like on the radio forty years ago or something. Okay. And like, you know, around that time. So like right now it's like 71 and shit. And it's mm-hmm. like, like, yeah, it's like Rolling Stones and shit. And um, like be, like a lot of Beatles. But since we've been talking about Rolling Stones, yeah, Jumping Jack Flash came on today, dude. <laughs> like that, it's crazy. Like when I was on my way home from work. Hell yeah. I, I Stones stuff. came on when I was on the way to work or way home from work today too. Yeah. Uh, I forget which song it was though. It wasn't Jumping Jack Flash. Yeah. But man, I don't know. I I mean, I think the key things to you know to talk about with this are those three uh, are those three songs. Those are like the highlights. So if you're looking for a um, what's it called, like a I don't know throwback album from the late '60s, and you want to see where the Rolling Stones evolved from, I think this is where they like really uh, kind of like pushed it past what they're you know they they came out like same shit as beatles like in fucking suits and you know yeah, quickly no, sure. evolved yeah, from like that. boy band yeah boy band to rock and roll band yeah hmm. yeah but yeah this is um so <laughs> they did like their whole psychedelic phase or whatever in the previous two yeah. albums between the buttons and their satanic majesty's request hmm. And this one, it says, you know, this is what the Wikipedia says. It says styles such as roots rock and a return to the blues rock sound that yeah. made them what they are, yeah. which I agree. Um, I mean, some of my favorite shit that they do is is almost bluesy. Maybe that's mm-hmm. like, you know, where we grew up. That's kind of like some shit that was ingrained. Yeah, definitely. But um, I don't know, man. This one, I think stands out because of its length it's not it doesn't overstay its welcome yeah and <clears throat> it is just a it's a solid listen like you can get through it pretty like good you know You're, yeah, it, it, it hypes you at the beginning the slow yeah. drum and you know and then it builds and then it does its fucking thing and then it just bows out yeah i mean it's like it's yeah it's like you said it's like it's not a hit it's not like you would put it like you know, it's almost like a Rolling Stones playlist, but without you know, I mean, without the hits, I guess, like the more like deep cuts, I guess. Yeah. And so it felt for me, it was like, oh wow, this is you know, I know it's the Rolling Stones because it has that 
you know familiar sound but it's like oh wow this is some shit that i don't really hear on the regular from them Mm -hmm. yeah almost like a uh if you're looking on like apple music or something like you look at that like uh next steps album they have you know after yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. it's like kind of like that yeah which i think is cool if you're interested in all at all in this um I, I, guess, I think yeah, that's, right. that's a good point that you put out. Yeah, it's like a good milestone for their career. Yeah, I mean, so. it, it's crazy to think that they were on their ninth album in 1968. That's crazy, yeah, dude. That's insane. Yeah, like these motherfuckers are moving better than I am these days. You know, oh, <laughs> you know. And, yeah, but I mean, like, but like you said though, that's you know, it's that fast paced, like you know, kind of like. um precursor to punk where they like wrote like quick songs that were like they're easy to remember you can perform them all the time you know Mm -hmm. short and sweet and just yeah you know this is also like um this and i was thinking when i when i was thinking about doing this episode i was thinking about um exile on main street now they were like full-on basically junkies at that point yeah and uh this is definitely they were in that groove for sure um and you can kind of tell on some shit yeah like some of the songs you're just like whoa you might have been really fucked up making this thing like (laughs) it's like three in the morning maybe like i think jigsaw puzzle is like legit like some rambling but then it turns like it's probably like i feel like the story behind that is probably like yeah i was rambling and writing it down and then when i was you know straight again the next day i like looked at it and i was like this could be cool yeah but um yeah it's a good way there's something that. really interesting about this uh that i saw earlier that i think you'll find interesting um issues uh, i gotta find it so uh oh yeah uh, due to an error in mastering beggar's banquet was heard for over 30 years at a slower speed than it was recorded oh wow this had the effect of altering not only the tempo of each song but the song's key as well. These differences were subtle but important, and the remastered version is about 30 seconds shorter than the original version. Uh, okay. That so the original sense. release. So basically the the remaster is how they intended it to sound. But that's people crazy. were listening to this shit slow as fuck for them. Yeah, like, man, it's like, <laughs> it's like it's grooves, but like uh, <laughs> I can just I can just who <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, the yeah. 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 these fuckers, but mm-hmm. to catch my but yeah, it's um, please to help me look at ass. <laughs> yeah. All right, so with picking this album, it would there was obviously a reason. Um, the reason was, uh, I was I bought tickets to this show to the fucking. <clears throat> to the no filter tour uh two years ago and so in 2019 these these tickets went on sale and i was like yes i'm going to that because i was thinking oh shit this might be this might be it man these dudes are up there yeah so i was like not tripping about uh i didn't buy like crazy expensive tickets it was just like i just want to see them see what it's like and that's mm-hmm. it you know yeah. And uh, didn't even buy any merch or anything. This is like a shirt I picked up from somewhere else. So because that shit, dude, a, a t-shirt oh, was like sixty, like fifty five dollars, sixty five dollars. I was like, no, oh, yeah, uh, dude, it's so shitty. Because like, I mean, it's like yeah, everywhere is like getting more, like more expensive. But I can only imagine like yeah, merch now after not being on tour for like two years, dude. You know, it's like <laughs> I mean, but the Rolling Stones, it's like you have all the money in the world it's like oh you can see their manager be like okay you gotta start charging 70 dollars for these t-shirts man (laughs) (laughs) i'm telling you what though they were selling like hotcakes in that bitch oh yeah i'm sure because yeah i mean it's like the last you know it's like the last living band you know legend living band that you know that's something i definitely ebay and yeah yeah that's something i wanted to touch on too it's like i feel like the rolling stones are the last uh, or you know, close to the last band from that era that is still just as good as they've ever been. You know, yeah. 
and oh, yeah, for sure. they're i mean it's funny you know people always talk about them in the same breath as the beatles and like their whole controversy throughout the years but like i think there's one thing that that's unspoken about it maybe it's spoken fuck it whatever but it's like yeah you know mick jagger and paul mccartney butt heads all the time but i think yeah. mccartney's thing about it is like fucking mick jagger's had a band for 60 years dude like the beatles did not last that long He's, there's got to be some kind of like fuck what if you know yeah because yeah, i mean sure. what if the fucking beatles were touring right now that'd be insane yeah no for sure yeah, um, but i mean I don't, I don't yeah it's like that is interesting to think about that mm-hmm. i, I think know, that's why mick always, jagger doesn't really go at us huh i always like the beatles more than the Rolling Stones. well yeah i think that you know but but there's got to be a thing. I think that's the only ticket that uh, that Rolling Stones have over the Beatles is like, yeah, they went through some shit. Like some people have died, um, but they're still doing it, man. You know, yeah, no, it's true, and they yeah. let all the bullshit to the side. You know, it's yeah. I mean, there's super famous stories about uh, uh what's his name? <sighs> Fucking uh. Charlie Watts like fighting Mick Jagger because he was being a douchebag and yeah. just being like like there's a famous story about um, him uh, Charlie getting woken up by Mick in the middle of the night and he he was yelling down in this lobby or something like drunk as shit mm. saying where is my drummer where is my drummer <laughs> and Instead of like just rushing down there and being like, shut the fuck up, you know, Charlie got up, dressed himself in a three piece suit, went and punched him right in the face in front of everybody (laughs) and then said, don't ever call me your drummer again. You're my singer. And then went back to bed. That's some that's some gangster shit, you know, like that's dope as fuck. And that dude was a jazz drummer. So that's like kind of dope. That he just yeah, went yeah. in like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, it's probably like I've seen a thing or two, like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's like, you, bro, you don't know. You don't know what's up. Um, but it's, it's kind of cool. Like, there's, there's shit like that that probably kept them together. Like, they, they all like kind of respected each other. each other in line. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, there was probably some kind of lean with the Beatles at some point where they were like, somebody, somebody got in somebody's ear. I'm not even going to say the, the Yoko thing, but it's like somebody got in somebody's ear that said you're like, more talented than them. Like you need to leave them. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what's, uh, I don't know if you know about, you know about the Peter Jackson, let it be thing, documentary. That's I'm about to come pumped out. about that. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Well, that's, I think it kind of touches on some of that. Yeah. Because, you know, like I think it's, uh, or yeah, it was George Harrison that leaves the band for, for a little bit during that album. Yeah. He quit or something. And he just yeah. quit. Yeah. The trailer is crazy. It was like, holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's good. Go check that out. It's on Apple TV Plus or whatever. No, it's um, on Disney. Oh, Disney Plus. Disney Plus. That's right. Disney Plus, like around, I think around Thanksgiving or Christmas. Yeah. 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 You know, it's November something for sure. Uh, yeah. I watched it. I was like, holy shit. This is going to be awesome. Uh, I, they yeah. released the album this past Friday of like all those cuts from yeah, the, the, from yeah, the thing. The, mm, Let it the be. Mastered version. Yeah. yeah. That always like the 50th anniversary. That's what it is the 50th anniversary remastered. Yeah, but it's got like I've been listening to it all week so far. It's got some like yeah. crazy shit on it. Yeah. But um, going back to the Stones. So yeah, I wanted to go see the show, and I bought two tickets. Uh, they're playing. This is a stadium show, so I had to see them at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. And so we went to this place to eat. We're like, all right, cool. We're gonna make a day of it, right? We're going to go out and we're going to get some food. We never, we haven't been to a concert since COVID hit. So it's like pretty stressful, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go to somewhere that's, you know, um, familiar that we've stopped in before to like pick up food or whatever. This place called uh, Joyland, which is uh, Sean Brock. He's a famous chef. He made like a burger place and it's fucking amazing. Okay. Yeah. So we stopped in and it's nothing fancy. It's like legit like a burger joint. Yeah. So we stop in. This place is exactly one mile from Nissan Stadium. Nice. My man. When I tell you 
it took us two hours. Oh yeah, I can imagine to go that one mile. Yeah, I do not exaggerate. So we were like, all right, cool. We'll, we'll fucking turn on the thing, put on the GPS, right? We're fucking just to make sure we go like the parking lot. It's in its own like section of the city. So it's like, yeah, all right, we're going to go where really they put on GPS to go to it, put it on. It's like, oh, 30 minutes. I'm like, okay, traffic, you know, whatever. Yeah. We go on the street that it tells us to, mm-hmm. and we get halfway down the street and there's a cop blocking the middle of the street <laughs> saying, yeah. telling everyone to turn around. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, are you serious right now? Like, this dude clogged up. I think it, I'm, I'm gonna blame that one man the whole for the whole thing, like for the whole day. It got so bad, bro. I was about to have a fucking breakdown in this car, <laughs> like freaking the fuck out that I wasn't gonna That's see why the I show. Like, dude, to be honest, like when I see shows now, like especially here in New Orleans, it's like I know how it's gonna be. I just say and call a fucking Uber and just you know get us, like get me as close as you can and just I'll walk. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Well, that was like an idea, but like thinking back to it, I would have just paid the parking at the fucking lot that we were at a mile away and walked. Yeah. Um, like I don't have a problem with that. It's a mile. Big deal. No. But I didn't know that we were going to, it was going to take that fucking long. And when we got to parking, finally found out that there was an opener <laughs> That we didn't know about, uh, and I'm perfectly fine with because I was hearing music while we were driving, and I was like, mm. "Dude, I'm missing this fucking show. I paid for it. I'm gonna be so fucking mad. Like, oh my god!" And turns out there's an opener. Whatever. I was so psyched that I missed them. Like, most psyched I've ever been to miss an opener. Yeah. And freaking out, freaking out. At one point, Meg was trying to pull sympathy card on me. She was like. Yo, you can get out if you want. I'll drive to the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. I was like, nah, no, nah, that's not how it's gonna work. So yeah, I'm shit. freaking Chelsea out. Would say too. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. And uh, it's like, no, but the point is to go together. <laughs> like, yeah, the point is <laughs> we're doing this as an experience. Yeah. And it was an experience for sure. So we get we get to the parking lot, and this is not listed either. Okay, so anybody going to a show at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. Know that if you don't pay ahead for the parking pass, it is $44 to park. Oh, damn. 44 fucking dollars, yeah. dude. No, I was bad. like, all right, fuck it, whatever. I was just so pissed at that time. I was like, I don't care. I just really don't. Uber at peak hours is probably, I know. Is that. Dude, I was just like, this is. And now, I mean, that was also a factor why we didn't buy any merch or anything. I was like, I just bought $44 worth of parking. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> this shit. All right. So we get, we get in the stadium, right? Figure out where we're sitting. Of course, what is the one thing that always happens when you're going to a concert with assigned seating? Someone sitting in your spot. So oh, yeah. <laughs> I had to tell an old couple to move. And the lady, I felt bad for the lady because she was like, oh, we're so sorry. Like we sat because I didn't I couldn't go any further. I was like, damn, you shouldn't be here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, well, that's that's what you paid for, bitch. Get on my seat. <laughs> so we told her to Let's take a hike. Look at the map. Yeah. yeah, take a hike. <laughs> go ahead. Climb that mountain. And uh, yeah. so they did. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that happened when I went to go see Paul McCartney. We were up that high too. It was just like, yeah, people like don't realize like how, you know, high it is. Like you know, especially at it's know, gnarly. Age, it's like it's steep, man. Yeah, yeah. I've never been to a concert where I had to like be top fucking row. Yeah. It wasn't like top row. Like I'm the top top section. I would say. Yeah, yeah. But still, like I usually don't do that. But these tickets were fucking expensive. Still, they were still like 150 dollars a piece. So yeah. I was like. Hell no! Nah. Like this is crazy. Yeah, that's how I was when I saw Paul McCartney, and it was like yeah, we're three rows from like the very top. Like yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. So it's, it's like, like it's an it's show. a thing you you go for just to go. Yeah, definitely. Like you want to hear the songs from the person, you know. Yeah. So we end up getting we sit down. Fifteen minutes later, they start, 
I was like, fucking relief, dude. Relief. And uh, they start out with, you know, some shit, you know, somebody comes on the mic. He's like, Nashville, the Rolling Stones. And then it was like, immediately hit, 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 hit. And then they do this thing. I, I never, like, I think this is cool that older bands do this. But they'll pick like a lottery system. Um, I guess with their like fan club or something of like different songs and oh, okay. the That's fans cool. get to pick what the song is that they play out of like four yeah. or five or something, mm-hmm. which that was cool. Yeah, it's cool. Um, and I think they picked a uh, honky tonk woman, which is a dope song. That's good. Um, yeah, but it was just like, I knew there was 19 songs played. I knew there were going to be 19 songs. That's including encore. And so at 17, I stood up and I was like, we're leaving. Like, we're going to get up <laughs> because it's a long walk. <laughs> and we yeah. heard the whole encore as we walked out. And I was like, this is cool. And I walked yeah. up for Sympathy for the Devil is the first song. And the second one might have been Jumbo Jack Flash. I forget. Nice. Um, but I was like, Sympathy for the Devil is one of the only songs I wanted to see anyway. Like, well, I'll see if a minute or two of it and I'll dip out yeah and that was what's up and it was overall i would grade it as something i saw nothing that was crazy impressive on a scale one to ten solid six damn that seven (laughs) damn but like i i think the problem was like i wasn't crazy about my seat I wasn't yeah. crazy about I had the fucking the the whole atmosphere. There was not a single mask in that fucking place, dude. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was gonna ask you. Well, that's what I was gonna ask you. Is that what was it? You had to be vaccinated to go there? No, that really. was that was like I was like, oh fuck. It, it is weird that like more and more places don't care. Like we went out to eat the other night. Like I mean, it's like here you're supposed to be vaccinated in the city of New Orleans. For mm-hmm. it to like sit down at a place and dine, and uh, yeah, we went in there and they didn't check our uh, vaccination cards or anything, and it's just like yeah, more and more places seem to f- seem feel that way. Yeah, like I was kind of shit, you know. I was kind of tripping. I was like, all right, like, but bro, they barely checked our tickets to get in this shit. It was kind of yeah. crazy. We walked yeah, in, just... and uh, yeah, there was not a fucking mask in sight. And this this is a stadium, dude. This shit was sold out. So we're like, fuck, bro. This is crazy. Like, yeah. And uh, yeah, it was fucking crazy. So it was just like weird. The the whole the whole vibe was just kind of strange. So it kind of takes it down for me. Yeah. But um, yeah, overall, man, probably seven, I'd say. Cool that we saw. Oh, I'm so happy we went. That might even take it up one more notch, like for real. Like I'm happy that it went. Super bummed that Charlie died like a month before. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Um, but now, like really reading into it, like doing this episode, reading into it, they had like a few regular players that are not around anyway. So it's not actually like, sure, it's the band as like most people know them, but it's not like the original original band. So yeah yeah so that's whatever yeah yeah it was cool that's good yeah i mean i would have gone how was paul mccartney i would have loved to see that that was good yeah it was really good i mean you know it's he still gets it too you know like mm-hmm. down around there dancing you know he does a bunch of covers oh yeah um, he yeah he did like a J- jimmy hendrix tribute which was like it was kind of cool but it was kind of like kind of random <laughs> like <laughs> um when i saw him what was it <clears throat> yeah it was yeah it was i saw a cold play at the at the uh rose bowl mm-hmm. a few years ago it was when right after prince died and they did a, a prince cover that was really cool oh, that's cool that's cool and like the, you know they do their their um wristband thing right where like, mm-hmm. the flashing wristband I'm pretty sure they all turned purple 
when it was nice. going, which was really cool. That's cool. But uh, I don't know, man. That's I think yeah. that sums up this album. Go go check out Beggar's Banquet. Yeah, uh, it, it's dope. All right, what would you give it out of like one to ten? The album. Yeah. Um, I give it a solid eight, dude. Oh, that's high praise from Adam Knitch. No. This motherfucker don't give no eights. Yeah. No. He, he's a, he's a he's a five and below kind of guy. <laughs> yeah. Nothing's good. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. Sucks. Trash. Fucking hate yeah. it. Uh okay. Well, dude, there's some other shit we should probably talk about. I saw a highlight or a headline today it said Kanye West illegally changed his name. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know shit about this. You know anything about this? Yeah, he's just changing it to um to yay, I guess. Ugh. It's like stupid, dude. But whatever. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like, yeah, it's just like, you know, and then like it have you seen like I guess he posted on Instagram like a picture of his of his back of his head. He got like some whack ass haircut. <laughs> I did see that. I was like, the fuck? Yeah. That's like, why okay. I posted the scene from um don't be a menace. Oh yeah, movie, yeah. Where it's like, um, hey, can you line me up? Can you boy line me up? And he's like, that's gonna be thirteen dollars. He's like, what? My boy down the street charges six. He's like, well, if you want your head all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like picture. <laughs> Love it. Uh, one of my favorite scenes in that movie is uh, is is my dude picking out his uh his his shoes and his Glock uh how they fit. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I wear these with these clothes? <laughs> yeah, go check that yeah. shit out if you haven't seen it. <laughs> yeah. All you youngins probably never fuck with that. The Marlon Wayans early shit. Yeah. That shit is crazy. Yeah. I remember first time I saw that movie, I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, yeah. And I had seen like Boys in the Hood and shit, but I was just like, yeah. How did anybody make this movie? <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. It was like it was so good. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely if you like any of those scary like the scary movie uh yeah. movies, like that is that is definitely what spawned that shit. Yeah, definitely. I mean it's probably way bad to me. It's better mm-hmm. than scary movie and all that. A hundred percent. White chicks and all that dumb shit. Yeah, hundred percent. Uh it's crazy to think that, that white chicks is like one of their biggest hits. Yeah, but I mean, like, the just it's the fun, fact that but... they got away with doing that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, good for them. The Wayne's brothers yeah. are dope. Uh, I met what's his name uh, on a show, the dude that plays Coach on New Girl. He's one of the Wayne's oh, yeah. brothers. <laughs> no. Yeah, He's I like met him one time. He's Dam- Dam- yeah, Damon Wayne's Jr. Yeah, yeah. I met him yeah. on a show one time. He was super cool, like super chill dude, yeah, but. Cool. Uh, yeah, I think the all the Wayne's are probably pretty rad. Yeah. I don't know. So what have you been up to? What anything else yeah. you want to talk about in this episode? Um not really, man. I can't think of anything. I've just been I don't know, man. I really there was like no new music lately, really. Okay. I mean I just mentioned Coldplay, they just dropped a huge ass oh, yeah. album. Yeah. Uh, they had a well. I say huge because like they did a couple of. Uh, I love I love it when people hate on me for liking Coldplay, but fuck it. They did a yeah a song with BTS. <clears throat> that uh, uh, K-pop yeah. band. B- yeah, yeah. So and I was like, like, I listened to them. I'm, I'm, like, I'm not about <laughs> it, but it's like I'm out. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm like, I get it. I do. get it. You know. If you're like one of the biggest bands in the world, of course you're gonna do something with another biggest band in the world. Yeah, you can call them a band. I don't know if they are a band, they're just a boy no. group. But um, yeah, it's real weird. You know, half English, half Korean. No. Uh, super strange. Apparently, hit like number one in a fuck ton of countries. But, I mean, I get it. I get it. It's fucking. You know, they hit number one whenever they put out anything. So yeah, this is. I don't get but it. not my cup of tea, <laughs> you know. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a heavy early Coldplay fan. Like, yeah. Those three first three albums are 
solid. Yeah, definitely. Uh, also, really, there you know, there's like comfort food. If I'm trying to get, like concentrate on yeah. some shit, I can throw that on, just to yeah, have the noise. The yeah, like white noise. Yeah, <laughs> throw on some parachutes. Throw on some. Uh, fuck it. Oh, uh, damn, bro. Why did I just blank out just now? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, fuck. Bro, I don't know what I, I was thinking. <laughs> you smell toast. <laughs> uh, I hope not. Fuck. No, no, I'm good. <laughs> why am I think? Why am I? Why can't I think of this right now? This is killing me. Uh, Oh, fuck. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna, oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. My fucking brain is broken, bro. <laughs> oh, fucking Russia blood to the head. Duh. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. Obvi- a Russia blood to the head. I fucking couldn't think. Yeah. God damn. You know what I'm really excited for, though? Uh, speaking of this type of band, is um this new Radiohead thing coming out in November. Oh yeah, just the um, B sides or whatever. Well, it's like a, it's like you know, how people were saying that um, in Rainbows and uh, what was it? Another one of their albums, or maybe it was Kid A and uh, OK Computer. Like if you combined them a certain way, it was one album. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that, but it's like yeah, the first yeah, three or some yeah. shit. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. That's, that's what it is. They've combined, they've like intermixed them or whatever. Like, I guess so. Right. I guess mixed them up like a couple songs from <clears throat> one album yeah. and then mixed them. I think it'd be sick if they toured that. That'd be really cool. Yeah, they probably will. I hope so. I'd love to go see Radio again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was the, uh, <clears throat> remember the, the solo project that Tom York had? The like electronic project? I always forget. I guess it was just him. It was just his name, I guess, right? Oh, he's done like two. He's done like two. Uh, Tom. But it was <clears throat> he played? He played here like a couple of years ago. Like I think it was 2019 or 2018. Sorry, it's probably 2019, like right before COVID. Oh shit! He's done quite a few. This is kind of crazy. Uh, Anima. That's the one with like the. The, like the videos and shit like him in a train station and stuff yeah um, i think hang on like not that long ago yeah, yeah that's what i'm talking about yeah yeah that one's so cool. he was like touring he was like touring with that here and he came here though and i wanted to go but it was like fucking outrageous dude oh really you have to go for like 250 and stuff because it was like in a theater like a little oh LA Jackson that's cool theater. so it was like a smaller venue that's super cool yeah it says yeah. um He's released three studio albums, one soundtrack album, two EPs, two compilation yeah, albums. Was for um, fuck, Suspiria. Was that yeah, Suspiria. Yeah, I'm looking at him right now. Seen. Have you seen that movie? No. It's yeah, about it's a, a vampire, isn't it? Yeah, it's a well, it's a remake. Yeah. Yeah. And sixteen singles. It's crazy. Yes. But then you got, I mean, you got other dudes in in uh. <clears throat> what's it called uh in this band and fucking radiohead that are insanely talented as well so yeah, like johnny greenwood yeah yeah johnny greenwood's done a ton of shit like uh, still in a bunch of like him and he's done a bunch of like soundtracks and scores now yeah uh, actually let's let's we'll see let's see how they uh pan out <clears throat> johnny greenwood See how they pan out. Let's see that. Let's see the breakdown. Oh shit! He's but you, Johnny Greenwood's probably done more. He has. They don't. They're not even listing it. It's so many. He did Phantom Thread. There will be blood. Yeah. This is a lot, dude. This is crazy. He's only forty nine. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck him being so successful. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Um. Anyways, I don't think there's much. There's much. Not much else. I mean, Adele's about to release a new album, which is crazy. Yeah. 
Yeah, which I, do, you, do you think it's gonna be good? You think it's gonna yeah. be overhyped? Have you seen the have you heard the new track? No. Dude, it's fuck your boy almost cried. Shit's <laughs> shit's amazing. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, the feels and you're like, oh man, you're gonna get pumpkin pumpkin spice latte. You cure me. Yeah, I almost got a pumpkin spice latte. Like immediately. <laughs> ordered to my ordered to my throat. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna try this uh I had a second beer waiting in the wings. Yes. Future Hop IPA. This is a new Belgium Voodoo Ranger series. And it is an 8.0. So a little oh. bit higher than my previous beverage. Yeah, 8.0. <laughs> and uh, no, this one's good. <laughs> and I already so had one going, before we started. So. On Tuesday night. <laughs> Bruh, I don't give a fuck right now. I'm having a heavy week, my dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not just beverage wise, but just in general, life is yeah, life yeah. is taking a fuck <clears throat> on my face. So that's true. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's there's um. Oh, you know what we can talk about. Uh, where you know we talk about pop culture on the show too. Dropping the needle, we do some other shit. So, um. <laughs> random things that quick sixers doing i've been doing some like random ass pickup videos some fucking i just did a review video on the mountain dew flaming yeah. hot oh yeah i remember talking about that I haven't watched it yet. you put that Bruh. video out it's yeah out yeah it's out now oh god i gotta watch it no oh, dude all right so i'm gonna give you meg's meg's breakdown of what it is she <laughs> said it's it's mountain dew red hot but if you let batteries sit in it for a long time, <laughs> that's what it tastes like. There. Yeah, like it, like a nine volt battery. Yeah, when you lick it, that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can only imagine. Remember when motherfuckers like, would tell you to do that? Like, oh dude, yeah, just put I, the nine volt my, on your tongue. <clears throat> with my stomach issues, bro, I could not. I could bro, not, I remember I somebody told me that. And shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time somebody told me that. I was like, "You're fucking crazy! I ain't doing that." And then yeah. I did it. So, it but it, it was tr- it was awful. So, how'd you feel? Like, were you like, "Oh, oh dude, God. like weird, like nauseous a little bit," you know? <laughs> I bet. Like you're like, like, like oh, bro, just like the battery. You're like I'm okay. Yeah, I'm cool. I just like shit it's my like, pants, go yeah. home. I'm shitting and peeing blood, but I'm okay. <laughs> no, nothing that crazy. <laughs> not, not licking a twelve volt or some shit. <laughs> One of those remote control car batteries. Like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, bro. Uh, also, shout out Johnny Greenwood looking like the most emo motherfucker ever. Uh, no, we can talk about some other shit that's uh, in the zeitgeist, my dude. Speaking of uh, famous music or just music in general, uh, a new Halloween came out. You know, probably oh, yeah. the most famous I don't know yeah. horror theme ever. I haven't watched it yet, bro. So <sighs> no spoilers. Bruh. No bueno. All I'm gonna say, so I don't ruin it for you, is I hope that the third one is real good. Yeah, I mean, that's what I've heard. I mean, when they put it on Peacock, I was like, oh no. <laughs> well, I knew why they did the Peacock. I was like. They're, no one's seeing this shit. Like they're not gonna go out and see it. So like they're gonna have to do some kind of streaming like platform thing. No, but and, actually, it's what's crazy is that it did it did well in theaters though. Mm-hmm. I was tripping. <laughs> like, I was like, all oh, right. Yeah, it was the biggest thing we've seen. Watch this fucking weekend, dude. Yeah, which is like it's crazy. And then that fucking um, really Scott thing bombed. What did really Scott duel. put out? The last duel. Oh, did it? Yeah, I forgot that was him. Yeah, yeah, I didn't Adam think I was gonna Driver. do good anyway. Yeah, Affleck Driver. and Damon and Driver in there. Yeah, it's just yeah, kind of weird. Not... Weird flex. Like, who's yeah. doing a fucking mil- like medieval night thing right now? Yeah. Um, They're like Game of Thrones, just like yeah, that was three years ago. <laughs> yeah, and it didn't end well, guys. Remember? That's, uh, you know, that's about to come out the uh, the prequel to Game of Thrones. Yeah, the fucking dragon people, whatever. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know if you watch it, but Ozark 
season three trailer dropped today. You know, oh, did it really? Yeah, a little teaser. It can't be season. Th- it's season four. It's gotta be. Oh yeah, sorry, season four. I was yeah. like, season three ended crazy as yeah, shit. I was like, yeah, season four. I love that show. Fucking yeah. love that show. Definitely. Also, all this shit coming out of fandom, DC fandom. New Batman looks amazing. Yeah. I'm all that, about Pattinson. That, that penguin. Oh, yeah. Penguin looking looking good. Okay, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. It's like, dang. Oh, yeah, I was like, dang. Colin Farrell's like, you're fucking killing. <laughs> uh, what is it called? This is good as shit, by the way. Um, go pick this up. I found this shit at Target, so. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, I need to I need to mess with those beers. I just like I don't know why I'm like always like oh I'm just gonna stick to like local stuff and I always forget to venture out to the Sierra Nevadas and the uh, dude New Belgiums of the world. I'm telling you, this New Belgium, the the Voodoo Ranger series is. I you know I'm gonna go I might go on record for it. It, it might be my favorite widely spread beer series there is. I think they're nice. always good. Yeah, like the the what juicy the, uh, ranger thing is a fucking awesome. Yeah. But you're bringing up, I was I always in like another bird. Like uh, uh, I always forget about is stone. Like all the stuff that they do, like they enjoy by. I always forget about that. Yeah, I was gonna bring one of those out. They were a little deep in my fridge. Though. I was like, eh, I'll just grab this top one. Uh, yeah, I got the stone. It was the last case at uh, at the beer store at uh, on Julia Beer Company. It's funny. I work, uh, one of the dudes I work with, he's you know he's from Puerto Rico, and uh, it's so funny because like uh, he'll just talk to me about beers, and I'll be like, "Oh, I love some IPAs," and he'll like, "Have you ever had Arrogant Bastard?" <laughs> 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 I'm like, "Oh yeah," and I like, look it up. I'm like, "Oh yeah, that is." He's like, "It's a heavy one." I'm like, "Yeah." I look it up. I'm like, "Oh yeah, it's fucking like eight percent." And then he was like yeah. talking to me today. He's like, "Oh, have you had the Space Dust?" <laughs> Space like, oh, fire. yeah, dude. I was like, yeah, that shit's solid. Yeah. I think, yeah, yeah I'm that's, telling that's you. That's an eight, yeah. Yeah. Space that's an eight, an eight. I forget that you can fucking get it in a six-pack, bro. Like, Oh, these come in six-pack. The what? The future hops. Is that eight? That's an eight, too? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah, and uh, the fucking Enjoy Buy came in a six-pack. You know, that's um, so, no, that one's a 9.4. Yeah, I was like, there was one, this one, um, what is the name of that brewery? It's out of Atlanta, but uh, yeah, it was like a double IPA. It was coming at ten, and it was in a six pack. <laughs> oh my god! And twelve ounce cans, dude. And uh, Atlanta, yeah, hmm. uh, Orfe- Orpheum, or 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 Orpheus brewery. That's what it's called. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good. That's, that's some good beer. Yeah, saw it. Um. Dude, ten percent in a six pack. Wow. Yeah. I'm surprised that wasn't it was like a four pack, too, like, sixteen ounce cans yeah. type of situation. Yeah. And I was like, this is weird. Like, yeah, it was definitely like, yeah, I was like, whoa, this is heavy for sure. But <laughs> Dude, I picked up this, some shit. Uh, I'm not really for the like. Oh, I'll, I'll try them, but I'm not really for like the barrel aged anything really. Like, I'm not. That's yeah, not really my vibe. Either, but yeah. Like, I'll try one, really you know. Like I'm not gonna buy a bunch of them though. <laughs> yeah, so I bought this one, I didn't look at the label. I was just like, Oh, this looks cool. It's like, it's like one of one series type of deal. Like, I think Tennessee Brew Works is doing it or something. Mm. And it's you know, it's like wax dip, it's all fancy and shit. And yeah. uh, but wax dip, but in like a 10 ounce bottle, like, it's not like. Not a twelve ounce. Yeah, no, I don't think I like, it might be a twelve yeah. ounce. Yeah, I've I was seen like, this before. is weird. You know, you don't usually yeah. dip bottles that are this small. So uh, I'm looking at it when I got it home. The shit's like a, I think it's an estimated twelve point two percent. I was like, oh my god. Ugh. I don't like when you get up that high, like dude, it just tastes like booze. Like you might as well just be drinking a booze. Yeah boozy drink definitely yeah but eight I, I like to hover around the eight zone yeah me too seven it's eight like i haven't had but yeah <clears throat> lately though it's like because i just drink so many ipas just like 
basic kind of hazy IPAs. That's like the highest is like seven point five usually. Yeah, those are the the fire though. Like yeah. if you're like the I think the best ones are like from six ish to like seven something. Yeah, I mean you got some. I said actually speaking of, uh, I saw somebody online. One of the people we follow on Twitter made the statement that they think bearded iris home style might be the best beer in the world and i was like that is a pretty solid beer though i was like i might not agree might not and what, not agree well, with what, you but what's crazy about that beer too is like it's named home style and it's like it tastes like a like a true like local like homes you know home for you know what i mean like like your local ipa that you could get oh man i'm gonna get the home style you know I mean, it's, it's like you would get the Ananda when you're like in Memphis or, yeah, you know, some of his shit. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like this, I mean, the home style is fucking amazing. And if you can oh, get it, good, yeah. the double home style comes out, then they got a triple every year. And it's like, yeah, I just do that. I mean, I don't know why, but that beer is still is like resonates in my mind. Like when you, like when I had it, you let me try it. But, uh, but yeah, it's like, it's, uh, there you go kind of frothy you know what i mean mm-hmm. if that makes sense Wait, yeah i don't know if you ever if you're familiar with the um there was a uh it was like fort collins brewery i don't even know if they're mm-hmm. like around anymore but they're like colorado and they had a uh, rocky mountain ipa and it felt like yeah it was like so it was always super cold and like the like the um the hops in it was just like so smooth like it was like unreal like you know oh yeah almost like a water like you know like yeah spring yeah water yeah, I mean, I think it's, you know, I've been, as we've been drinking like a ton of fucking beers throughout doing these shows, I've definitely come to notice like it's all about, it's just like chefs, dude. It's like the better ingredients you have, the better the beer is going to be. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like don't skimp on that shit because if you don't, then your, your shit is going to be a fire, you know? Yeah. But what's so, crazy too is like there's so many like, like juicy, hazy IPAs and flavorful like tropical IPAs and with like the you know the shit with the the milk you know milkshake IPAs and everything mm-hmm. that has lactose in it. But what's crazy is like I yeah I still miss like the old just the traditional IPA you know mm-hmm. like it, that's <clears throat> I feel like that's even getting harder to find because everybody wants to do all this crazy juicy yeah. hazy stuff. Yeah, and I mean I don't know if you remember I don't know if you can even get. Beer virus down there. No, we don't. But um, I've never seen it at least. I just saw them in our local Target, by the way, which I was like, holy nice. shit. Like, you guys got you hooked something up. Yeah. It was just the home style, but I was like, I would buy this here. Yeah. Like, if I was anywhere else and I, mm-hmm. whatever. So, uh, I don't know if you remember, like, if you remember the taste or anything, but it, like you said earlier, you kind of, it, it it's stayed in your mind, but I feel like they haven't done a juicy IPA, and I feel like they don't need to. Yeah, that, like I feel like they should have sit like it's citrusy enough. Like you don't need to do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't need to. Yeah, because like now it's just like a trendy thing. Like even this Giacomo, it's like like I said, it's like I almost prefer the old Giacomo IPA, which is like an almost like imperial IPA or like a reddish IPA. Mm-hmm. You know versus like yeah this juicy trying to be like a we're trendy too Mm -hmm. yeah 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 i feel you it's you know it's i don't know man you got a good point it's like it's the the trendy shit is like it's kind of like wearing on me i'm like all right cool like everybody's got this same shit like yeah like recently i started like going to the beer store and getting like random um stouts and I was like, yeah, those are good, especially when it's starting to get cold, like cooler outside. Yeah, it was, you know, winter beers. I think the thing, you know, I was thinking about that recently. Like, I think the reason that stouts come out, I mean, this is probably proven, but um, I think the reason stouts come out when they do is because it's cold out and because the beer doesn't yeah. get as cold yeah. because the content is so much higher. Um, yeah, and it gets your body warmer. Yeah. Like the both, I have, I think they're both bearded iris beers actually. Um, both stouts, and they're both 10% in the fridge right now. 
And I was like, ah, I don't know if I'm gonna. I was gonna bust one out for this show, but I was like, I don't know about that. Yeah, I might get too fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I got turned up on a Tuesday. Yeah. That song was so big when we were in uh, Jackson. Jackson, yeah, dude. Speaking of, Schmurter got out of jail. That's crazy. <laughs> I know. We were, I was just talking about uh, Bobby Schmurter today. That's funny. I was talking to tell some people at work. Remember how those fucking little black girls would dance to it? And they're like fucking five years old. Yeah. I'm, it was crazy. I'm a hot N-word. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, sick. Like, we're airing this on <laughs> Lifetime? All right. Cool. Definitely not going to be the same songs. That's for sure. <laughs> Yeah. Those events were kind of turned up though. When you go, it was, yeah, it was kind of fun. Yeah, it became like a dance competition before, like just people trying to dance in the fucking middle of the basketball court. <laughs> so, so fucking weird, dude. <laughs> the weirdest shit ever. But anyways, <clears throat> I don't think Adam's gonna reveal November's album. So you guys can unless you have one planned. Do you have one planned? I mean I have a couple that are like Ooh. in the uh kick the, around. The arson, arsenal, I guess. Ooh, okay. Any I'm but, actually uh, gonna like? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I mean, there's ones I've told you. You know, there's a couple that we have like on the on the deck list. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah, but I could also just like throw a random one in there. For sure. Maybe, maybe for December, maybe we should do um our favorite Christmas albums. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we should. Uh, like, yeah. like, what would I play? But yeah, yeah. I know what I would play. What would you play? Beach Boys Christmas. Yeah, that's a good one. I was gonna yeah. play Chipmunks Christmas, but whatever. Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> nah. It's a hit. It's a hit. Uh, Beach Boys Christmas was uh, nah, that's a no, it's a staple in my. I, I swear yeah. to God, I've heard that shit every single Christmas day in my entire life. Like. Oh, really? it's, yeah, for real. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Yeah, my, I don't know why, but yeah, that was like a thing in our house. Yeah, but it's also I soothing. Really... I all listen to that shit all December. It's fine. Yeah. I have, I have like a Christmas playlist that I put together a couple of years ago, but it's like I call it my soulful <laughs> Christmas playlist. There you go. Because it's just like a bunch of like it's like Ray Charles or not Ray Charles, but um James Brown Christmas and shit and like um. Doug Jackson five, you know, mm, shit like yeah. that. It's fire. Speaking of, um, we're gonna put together a playlist for the show so that yeah. um anybody who listens along can check that out and see what the fuck we're talking about. So like the three thought three songs we talked about on this episode yeah. mainly will be on there. Stuff like that. But we'll get that started soon and share a link. Uh check out our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook you're page. You're going to put them in order? Like, from oh, fuck it. We'll mix it up. One. No, okay. I'll, let you, I'll let you decide. Fuck it. I don't care. Put it on shuffle. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, well, maybe episode. I don't know. Still by episode. Like, just, yeah. That's what I want to do. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Maybe, it's episode yeah. one, episode two. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just a highlight. Just add to it. Add to it every month. Yeah. Why yeah, not? Then y'all can put it on shuffle. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it like chunks. I don't know how we'll split them. I guess you could. Like, you have to listen along to see where we split them. But, um, but yeah, I think that I think that's it. Unless you got anything to add. Yeah. No, I don't. All right. Well, go check um, out this album though. Yeah, go check out this album. Beggars Banquet. Rolling Stones. Solid pick, dude. Solid pick. I'm Thanks, impressed. man. Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of worried. I didn't think you were going to like it at all. <laughs> no, I mean, like, the thing is, I like Rolling Stones. That What's funny is you picked this album, and then uh, right before I told Chelsea what I was like, what album that we were going to do, she was like, man, I've been on the Rolling Stones kick lately. <laughs> oh, she has? Yeah. That's what's up. So, Did she listen yeah. to it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's what she's like. We need to listen to it. We need to listen to it. So we, like, listen to it together. Nice. Did she like it? Yeah. Nice. I think she Hell likes yeah. all Rolling Stones. Like she likes Rolling Stones more than I do. I think. Yeah, I don't know. I think I was late a late uh, Rolling Stones fan. Yeah, I mean everyone I knows the hits and shit. Yeah, it's yeah. like I mean, like I said, 
they're, it's like they're gaining um recognition recognition again if we're just touring i guess you know so it's still on the radio i feel like that's what i'm saying it's still on the radio more now too like that's probably why they're playing it on local radio here the only station and stuff just like oh yeah you know yeah no you got yeah you're right because i've heard probably like at least five rolling stone songs on the radio just in the last two days <laughs> jesus yeah yeah i don't know man they're yeah go, like adam said go check this shit out um you know what i've thought i thought about before we recorded this we haven't ever pushed out any social media uh stuff on this so like no. where can people check out you or follow you you can follow me on instagram i think it's a kinich at just instagram K- yeah k-n-y-c-h k-n-y-c-h and everyone go and wish adam happy birthday his birthday was just yesterday so yeah. or two days ago yeah, thanks dude. yeah october 17th you old as fuck 34 yeah <sighs> shout out two months older than me the bastard <laughs> um yeah just in life it's great that's that's crazy as fuck huh what 34 yeah yeah it is weird crazy um but anyways you go check that out maybe we'll maybe we can announce what we pick for november so maybe we can follow along or check it out and see you know like see if anybody wants to listen to it before we talk about it next month yeah but uh we'll post it soon yeah on the socials, yeah, on the socials. <laughs> go check out uh, adam stuff you know you can follow quick sixer on all the stuff uh, quick sixer cast on twitter quick sixer podcast on instagram uh we you know we post all this stuff i think britney's gonna do another review for november and december nice. i maybe i might kick her one of those uh those beers that i have in the fridge because I think it'd be funny. <laughs> yeah. uh, if anybody's never Brit- met Brittany, she's 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 kind of she's a small lady, so a ten percent might might do her in. So it could be kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe I'll <laughs> kick her one. And she's the hugest Halloween fan ever. So go uh, yeah. go check our shit out. Um, what else we got so, coming out? Okay, go check out the Halloween movie or no? Oh yeah, go yeah. check out the Halloween movie. It's cool. It's just not. Yeah. It's not I what mean, you're expecting. I guarantee you that. It, not to keep getting back into it because we're trying to end this thing. But yeah, the whole, I mean, the first whole, you know, one, it's like Chelsea really liked it. I mean, the, I like the, because uh, like now, I like, you know, just because I work on TV shows and movies, I just pick it apart. But like, I mean, the set dressing and stuff and like the set design was like really good. And, yeah. you know, well, that's what's appealing to me is like more so like where they shot it because, you know, they shot it in North Carolina, I think. Mm-hmm. So, um, but. And like that, that was more playing to me. I was like, oh, this looks really good, you know? And then, but yeah, just the storyline was like, it was just like, oh my God, it just felt so dr- drug out, you know? Mm-hmm. And like, yeah, we know he never dies and <laughs> you're going to shoot him 8,000 times and he's still yeah. going to get back up. Yeah. There's, um, so, oh, actually, if you like Halloween, go and check out, um, they just released an episode of the movies that made us about Halloween on Netflix, which is oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that series is pretty cool. Uh, And there's an episode about Halloween and that opening tracking shot um, in specific, they go in, they go into like pretty great detail about how that went. Like it was like 50 grand of their like 300 grand budget just to do that shot, which is crazy as shit. Um, So they did that and um, it's pretty cool. Like it, it, I feel like that particular shot like changes that whole movie. It's, it's, you have no yeah. idea what the fuck's going on for like the first five minutes. Yeah. So, uh, go check that out. That's super cool. Go check out the new Halloween while it's still on Peacock. Um, do the trial. Yeah. Fuck it. Just do the trial. You don't need to watch yeah. other shit. It's also four ninety nine a month. So. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Nine ninety nine if you don't want ads. Yeah. <clears throat> Which I was like, whatever um but yeah it's cool it's 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 a good movie it's not as i don't think it's as good as the 2018 or 2019 whatever halloween yeah no, yeah it's not, not really. as good I'll check it out let's still check it's it out. got this weird like half-ass side storyline thing yeah hmm. mm-hmm. well but anyway check it out yeah um yeah man 
It's been dropping the needle. It's your boys, Adam Knitch, Pat Artist. It's yeah. Quick Sixer Podcast. Well, a Quick Sixer Podcast. <laughs> a Quick Sixer Podcast. Yeah, a Quick Sixer Podcast. <laughs> quick Sixer Collective, as we yeah. like to call it, in the club. So go yeah. check out all this stuff. Um, we got some cool stuff coming up. I think this is going to be the last thing for October, but November, we're trying to have, uh, if you haven't noticed uh, by now, we changed our logo on a lot of things and uh, the artist behind that, Nathaniel Covington, he's been super busy. He just had an art show again in town and we're going to have him and his partner in crime, um, Kenny. They do a, a podcast called Anyone Can Die and it's about horror movies. We we're going to try to do it for this month, hmm. but schedules didn't work out. But so we're gonna try to push it to November, and that'll be. I think I'm gonna have you and Brittany on it if you want to do it. Okay. Um, definitely Brittany. Brittany will be into it. Um, yeah, I mean, well, sounds cool. Yeah, it could be fun. It's I know Drew's like, Drew's really wrong. busy. <laughs> do what? You're wrong. Just like because I don't, you know, they probably like know more, way more about horse shit. And just like, oh, oh my god, like they're fucking nerds about it. It's crazy. Um. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, yeah, Drew. Drew might might be taking a hiatus for a little while. Yeah, he's got some personal stuff going on, and he's also editing a documentary about Slash. So there's that. Nice. Um, which is crazy just to hear that come yeah. out of my mouth. Uh, so weird. Okay. Yeah. But anyways, this been you boys. This is dropping the needle. Check us out next month. We out. <laughs>